You can create power without using fossil fuel energy. For us, it's all about exposure. It's all about bringing our young people to the understanding that Earth first, right? I tell our kids, I ask them about cancer. I ask them about asthma. I ask them about birth defects. I let them know that what we're doing to our Earth is making us sick as well. Woo! Am I right? Yeah! These are high school students. These are youth of color. They are often not exposed to this information. At Green Tech, that's what we do. We bring the information to them, and we have them hands-on projects like solar, wind, and water projects so they understand how this really works. We also let them know that they can create their own jobs, that they can create their own situation where they can sustain themselves while making sure that they understand that we must protect our Earth. channel. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about the Climate, Jobs, and Justice March that I went to with my ESO group. Uh, so my ESO group that stands for Environmental Student Organization, um, I'm involved in that here on campus at Sacramento State University and I actually went to this march um, in Sacramento. There was also a big one in San Francisco and I think a lot of other places as well were doing it too. They had a lot of you know speakers that were you know advocates and talking about what they're doing. Um, they had uh, different groups, environmental groups that came up, and uh, different entertainment groups. They had, you know, a band. It was like a reggae band. It was super fun. Uh, just a lot of entertainment. It was for a couple hours long, and and it was just good. Like going out there and showing your support in your community. I encourage you all to go out into your community and you know find out when these things are. Go advocate and go support this cause. It was super cool because you know you could go to each of the booths and kind of see what organizations um, are helping towards this climate change problem and you know are really advocating uh, for change and and really putting in an effort. There's organizations out there that are doing good and are doing right with our community. And it's great because you can also sign up right there at the booth. So if you are interested in any of those organizations and helping out and being an advocate uh, for the, this climate change problem, uh, you can just you know sign up right there and sign up for their email list. Some of these groups are you know worldwide or statewide, and they just have certain chapters in where you know you're living, you know, local chapters. So if you are interested in getting involved in you know your own small community, there's probably organizations that are you know centered towards your community specifically, um, and and then the wider public as well. If a lot of people are worried about this issue and a lot of people are demanding change, there will be change. We just have to all come together and realize that this is an important issue and this is kind of what the march is doing. A lot of people coming together on one specific day to show that this is a major issue that needs to be dealt with. And it's showing that to the greater community and to people who might not know about this issue and it's also showing this to higher up policymakers to our government that there needs to be something done uh, about this. And a lot of times at these environmental uh, advocacy events, uh, they pass out flyers for people who are running an office who care about the environment and who care about healthy uh, solutions and green energy and will implement uh, green jobs. Voting is a huge thing. We all need to make sure to vote because nothing can change uh, higher up if you do not vote. So it's super important to come out to these things because you'll get educated not only about ways and you can save the environment and groups who are helping the cause, but also, you know, local people who are running an office. And again, this event is called the Rise for Climate Jobs and Justice. Um, make sure next year uh, you look out for this. It happened in September. Um, so see if there was one happening around where you live. Here are some of the pictures and videos I took of the event. Uh, I hope that you enjoy them and that it kind of encourages you to go out there and to 
go to one of these events as well. world for our future generations. Just as we gave honor to our ancestors earlier, we also need to honor those coming behind us. The earth tree is not property. The earth tree is of everyone. The earth tree is not property. The earth tree is alive. Keep that hole in that hole. Keep that oil in the soil. Keep that hole in the hole. Keep that oil in the soil. People in my family, people who understand me, and I find them everywhere I go. Hoping for the righteous, hoping for the righteous, hoping for the righteous someday, someday. Hoping for the hope for the righteous, hoping for the righteous, hoping for the righteous someday. Come on, son. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video and I will see you next time.